because they're heavier, they're stronger. They're not made out of paper mache. This is a I, huge scandal. I do not understand why the Senate is not doing a hearing on all of the Trump grift. And I'm not even talking about the money they made off foreign governments while they were in office. So they're full projection mode. I feel legitimate sympathy for the poor people at home that listen to these people and take them seriously, that sit there and just, you know, clench their fists and like, yeah, get that orange son of a bitch. You know, like those people are so drowned and drowned in their own hatred that they, they can't see anything objectively. And they, they're just, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't even have the right words to describe it. It's, um, it's just sad. It's just sad. It depresses me when I, when I think about those, those people that listen and take these, these idiots seriously, that, that can't see how contrived and full of shit and fake and plastic face that these people are. It's, it's insane to me. I guess that's just it though, right? It's like that, the whole matrix thing, like it, it, when you're in it, it's super convincing and it's real. And the second you see it, for what it is it becomes so obvious and mm -hmm. i still i still struggle with like looking around like how does not everybody fucking see this it's so it's so obvious it's yeah, so it it's big it's um you know i i don't know if, have i talked to you about this about what i've really come to figure out after doing my show as much as i've done it and, and understanding the psychology it's um we talked about a concept about a couple weeks ago called splitting where it people with like a borderline narcissist personality disorder they have this thing that happens with splitting and it gets into a black and white thinking where there's no room for nuance well the the socialist and marxist type of ideology uh puts people in a position that they only will will anything that furthers the the goals of the state that's good but even if it has, has a 90 percent favorability towards the state's ideals but 10 percent that's uh is a gray area or not not would be beneficial for the state it's still rejected I mean, essentially you're, you're trapped in a binary thinking of black and white no room for gray no room for nuance whatsoever and they do this but, but, but on the social conformity of keeping people in a fear fear of being canceled fear of being viewed negatively so the 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 fear part and this goes to like the climate stuff or the covid stuff anything it is a that once they have these people worried about something enough where they're in they're they're putting themselves into like a you know the brainwave state of whatever it is you know a, a kind of a what the state of confusion and and fear they give them an easy out in order for them to continue to ha to stay within that binary thought pattern and this is why smart people can seem so stupid because they're trapped inside of literally a logic loop where the, where they're 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 uh, in a defense fight or flight constantly, maybe not like in a physical sense, but their mind the way is trapped in that. How they may they, not realize it, but they but they do. They're in the back of their mind. They're like, oh my off. gosh, the children and climate change. They, they, they may not be constantly, but it's in that subconscious somewhere. How how do they get lulled into it? Like it's like uh, not a healthy dose. They don't have a healthy dose of skepticism they are they're trapped in or they're not open-minded or they just have a personality disorder that uh, that precludes them to be in that in that uh in that state yeah because like i feel like uh, and i feel also like, they also keeps them in there because they feel like they're winning people don't like to lose right uh, that makes that that right there that right there rings extremely true yeah because they, they, it's a confirmation it's a com it's a confirmation bias so they get like it's like it's it's the same way they they do a uh, uh, positive stimulus for rats and experiments. It's it's really not too dissimilar from from that. They get positive reinforcement. They feel like they're winning, and then they because what they have been told by the media to expect and then as a win materializes, then they still stay on that team. They're like, I'm not I'm not giving up on my team winning. I'm not giving up on that. 